singing, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yahweh.
in all all we can say is thank you father you have done what no one can do oh god you have done in our lives what no one can do all we can say is thank you lord all we can say is thank you lord blessed be my lord and master we give praise to your holy name we exalt your name we adore you have a father ah of glory we exalt you lord and master we appreciate you our gathering is unto you not unto anyone come and take your every place come and do your bidding in this place come and glorify your name alone in this place come and put man aside and do what only you can do oh father come and move mightily oh god in word oh father in prayers, oh God, they are touching the laborers, Almighty God, and send the captives like me free, Almighty Father. Lord, move mightily in this place, oh God. We can do nothing without you, oh God. Without you, we are nothing, oh God. Without you, we are failures, oh God. Without you, oh, we are defenseless, Almighty God. Lord, we pray, oh Father. Let your awesome presence dwell in this place. Let your Shekinah glory envelop this place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let your glory abound, O God. Let your presence be made known, Almighty God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let darkness vanish, O God. We banish darkness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That your counsel Lord, will stand in this place. That your plan and purpose for tonight, O God, will be manifest in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That what you are set to do tonight, O God, on him that you will put, O God, you will begin with me, O God, to set free, to redeem, to exalt, to help, O Father, to engrave, O God, to set free, O God, to deliver, O God, to redeem, O God, to restore, O God, a mortal fold in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus to defend the God fiercely in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We depend upon the Lord for the word of God. And the entrance of the Lord will be light and understand to the simple. And God bring fear of you to God. But conviction of God of the Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we depend upon you, Father, tonight. Not on our strength, not on our know how, not on our past, but on our knowledge of God. But not on our knowledge of the scriptures. But on your leading, on your direction, on your word in season and of season, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. How you are your spirit, O Father? We depend upon you, God. You find yourself, God, our teacher, Holy Spirit, who will choose all things and bring all things to our remembrance. Come have your way. Come take a place. Come and do your thing. It is your season. It is your time. It is your hour. Come have your way. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ.
always doing wonders. As you have worshipped him, worshipped him this evening or this morning, wherever you are on the surface of the earth, he's there with you. The Bible says he inhabits the praises of his people. Father, we thank you, oh God, we exalt you because you're a faithful God. You are not man that you should like, but the son of man that you should pay. Your word, they are yea, they are amen, they have been tested in the furnace seven times at this past show. Oh Lord, you have exalted your, your word even above your names. Covenant keeping God, the one that will never break your vow. Father, we worship you. We exalt you, King on high, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. I don't go just or matter say until they just say, or I'm in the fire Lord, we worship you. The double-breasted God. No one can suck you dry. No one can suck you dry. We exalt you, Emmanuel. Lord, who is like you, O God? All the earth. No one, no God. No one, no God. No one, no God. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. And forever, you are God. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. We welcome you, brothers and sisters brethren across the world to the presence of the Most High God this day this hour we celebrate the God of Israel the God of Abraham, Isaac and Joseph and Jacob Joseph all our patriots in your life we thank God for what he's doing we exalt the name of the Lord for your faithfulness and your steadfastness we thank you for your support we thank you for tuning in. We thank you for subscribing. We appreciate. We see all what you are doing. We thank you for the comments. We thank you for the support, both emotionally and your prayers. And financially, we, we, we bless the name of the Lord. We ask that, we pray that God himself will reward you diligently in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will support you, will back you up. Amen. God will never be tired of you. Amen. And you yourself, even no matter how tedious the enemy is, and walking against your life, every completed work of darkness in your life, in our, in our lives, will be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every evil that they've written concerning us, the blood of Jesus will blot them out Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And all the wickedness that has been done, the hand of God, the finger of God will reverse in the name of Jesus Christ. Your joy will be full in the name of Jesus. You will not sorrow. We are grateful. We are grateful for the participation. For always tuning in. We don't take it for granted at all. We thank you even as little as we are. That you, you tune in. You take your time. There are many programs. But we appreciate the Lord for giving you us the grace. The, the privilege to, to, to have you with us. We don't, we don't take it for granted. We celebrate everyone on this uh, program, uh, those in-house and those on the internet. May the Lord bless you indeed. You will not lack any good thing. The oil on your head will not run out Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will continually water you. Amen. Day by day, you will never lack any good thing. Amen. The Lord himself will overshadow you. Amen. The power of the highest will overshadow you and Amen. your household in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will never sorrow. Amen. You will not lose anyone in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. And the peace of God that passes all understanding will be your portion in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to be taking our text from Psalm 105. We're going to take our text from 105. And uh, we want, I know Psalm 105 is long, but we're going to just take it from uh, verse. We're going to start from verse, let's just start from verse 1. 
Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deed among the people. Sing unto God. Sing psalms unto him. Talk, talk ye of all his wondrous works. Glory ye in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works that he has done, his wonders and his judgments, and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen, he is the Lord our God. This, his judgments are in all the earth. He has remembered his covenant forever. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac. <laughs> Notice the words, the covenant and the oath. The covenant was made with Abraham, but the oath was a... The confirmation of the covenant he made with Abraham that he made to Isaac. Because we discover that our God is a God of generations. He's not just the God of our fathers. He's our own God. And he will be our children and children's children's God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May we continue to have families that would love God and serve, serve the name of the Lord God Almighty. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. we pray that God would remember us and remember our children and our children's children Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And verse 10, and confirmed the same to Jacob for a law. That is another generation. Israel was the father of Jacob. So God also confirmed it, the oath to no, assuring Jacob also, Father, we thank you for your faithfulness. So, uh, he confirmed it to Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. <laughs> Saying, unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance. Verse 12, when they were but a few men in number, yea, very few, and strangers in it. It doesn't matter where you are on the surface of the earth. <laughs> it doesn't matter the situation. God is able to do it. If you believe, it will happen in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 13, when, ye, when they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another, to another people, where has life moved you? Where have you migrated from through and through? It seems like you're just moving from one job to another, looking for where to settle. God will settle us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Verse 14. And he will make room for us Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. No, verse 14. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sake. God will reprove kings supervisors, managers, whoever they may be that has been set above you for your sake in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. Moreover, he called, he called for a famine upon the land. He break the whole staff of bread. He, went, he sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for, for a servant, whose feet they hurt with feathers, with feathers, with feathers. He was laid in iron until the time that he, the, his word came. The word of the Lord tried him. The king sent for, the king sent and loosed him from the ruler of the people. 
and, and loosed him, even the ruler of the people, and let him go free. You will be let go free in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Where has the enemy thought and done you wrong? Sold you. He, God allowed a famine where Joseph was. Why? He's the God of creation. He could have he could have carved a, 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 a situation and made it out so that Joseph, Jacob and his family would be safe. But no, God allowed the famine to even reach his own people. Who has told you that, oh yes, everything you are going through is because you sinned or because you have done some wrong? God sometimes allows these things in his own own large scheme that we might never understand. He allowed Joseph to be sold into slavery. Ah, God, this is the same person that you have promised. You know, I was I was um, studying uh, some men of God when they were talking. They said uh, that God allowed Joseph to leave his father's comfort zone. He was the preferred. He was loved by his father. The father loved all his children, but he loved, we all know why. Maybe that was just uh, Jacob's fault. But hey, he was a child who his mother had died, who, you know, he was the only one, and he was someone that his father loved his mother so much. And they had been through so much together, all the shame, all the suffering. Of not of Laban tricking him, yet their love stood still, stood strong. And then people are angry that he loves such a child. May God have mercy on us. The envy in the hearts of men. In fact, envy is the worst, one of the worst things in the world. May the Lord give us the heart of God, not to envy. Not to be proud and puffed up, no matter what or who we are, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God allowed Joseph, he allowed him to leave his house, his comfort zone, to go. He knows that Joseph would not go willingly. <laughs> he knows that Joseph would never want to leave his father. So the only way was to orchestrate his brothers. They thought they were doing him bad. But they didn't know that they were planning. What has people done against you? It's going to work in your favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. No matter what they have done, all the lies they've concocted against you, every scheme that they've perfected against you, the Lord will turn it around to favor you in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. They took him to the pits. We know the story. The pits then from pits to slavery to Potiphar's house. Yay, what a shameful situation. I do not know what it is that you and I have been subjected to. How people have ridiculed us. How they have said this and that. Oh, she is like this. Oh, she wants to do this. Oh, you better be far away from her. Oh, we don't know if she's coming. Oh, maybe she's uh, something from the pit of hell. Oh, they have sent her to come and scatter things. Or oh, he wants to, he wants to, he's just pretending. He's a foreign. People have named you all kinds of names. They have even called the spirit of God upon you all kinds of things. God, Jesus Christ said, even said it, that any blasphemy against the Holy Spirit will never be forgiven. Lord, we leave them to God. Just leave them to God. The God Almighty himself will judge the matter. And God will save us, will save you and I in the name of Jesus Christ. All the bad mouth thing, just don't worry. They, they did worse to Joseph. They did worse to him. Then he went to Potiphar's house. And we know how that went. The woman would not leave this, the young boy alone. Chasing him about the whole house. Chasing him when uh, Potiphar is not at home. We don't even know the name of the woman to show you how irrelevant she is. But she would have destroyed his destiny. if Because I, 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 I always mean when I minister to people. People always say, ah, um, uh, she's Egyptian, yeah. The Egyptian, Egyptian, Egyptian women, all those uh, Middle East, they are very beautiful, though. Do not be deceived, though. 
Hey, what does she have? Blah, blah, blah. Why? That's why Jesus, the, the Bible says, run from every, run, flee, flee from every appearance of evil. Do not try to debate it. And that was what Joseph did. Even as at that, he still got into trouble. But at least the kind of trouble he got to was physical. It was not spiritual. Where if he had laid with Potiphar's wife, he would have been ensnared. His destiny and everything would have gone into that hole. And he would never have been able to be free. And at the end of the day, Potiphar will find them out. And his head will be gone. Because no, do not, do not, do not mess with a, a man. A, is it a jealous man? Any man will not stand for it. Even though, yeah, some of them do it, but well, they will not stand if it is their wives. Their body will be hot like this, as if the sky should drop. <laughs> In my people will say somebody that um, behaves people. He will not even like you to come near near him with with sword at all or cutlass because he knows what he himself does so Potiphar could have cut them at an opportunity at an auspicious day and that would have been the end whichever way it's a downhill but on the temporary it seemed as if Joseph was a mumu <laughs> but he stood for God he said how will I do this and sin against God, not against Potiphar, not against himself, not against uh, the woman, but against God. All of us, we think that God is never really present. Oh, but he's watching. And there's something, like the Nigeria when the was talking, that you look like I was talking uh, yesterday. He says, uh, yeah, there's something called conscience. There are many ways in which God talks to us. Many ways. He gave so many. In dreams, in visions, in trance, in so many ways. In the word of God, in worship, in all oh man, in angelic visitations. But there's one way that is so, is our conscience. And that conscience, on the last day, will rise up and begin to judge us. In fact, he's even judging us right now on earth. But at the end... The conscience will speak. There is, even if a person does not know God, the person does not know Christ, has never read the words of the, of the Bible, the conscience is kept there to checkmate us that, oh, this thing you are doing or you are about to do, you know it is wrong. You know it is not of God. You know it is not right. To steal another person's hard-earned money, had earned, you know, all they have labored and sweat for to cut a person off to kill. We know deep down, we all know the truth that it is not right. So, the conscience, will so back to Jake Joseph, he fled and then he landed in a prison. In the prison, he continued to be good. The Bible says, let him that knoweth to do good, continue. And let him that knows how to do evil, continue also. Anyone that continues will have the reward. That is the truth. He said also, the thing that scares me most, he said, a person that has been doing good, but stops and does evil, ah, that all the good that that person has been doing, has done in the past, will be wiped out. And if God comes at that stage, is that evil that will be recorded for that him or her? And the end of that person is hell. Whereas a person that has been doing evil and repents, have a change of heart, turns another way to God or to a right way, a righteous way, that all the evil he or she had done will be forgiven. I know it seems impossible. One of the things that we heard yesterday too was that there's no sin God cannot forgive you. And that is the truth. The consequences, yes. The consequences, a person might, might suffer it because uh, the consequences is subject to the mercy of God. And we know that the mercy of God is the prerogative of God. He said he will have mercy on who you have mercy on. 
and you have compassion on him, you have compassion on. It's not of you that we are not really realized, but of God has shown mercy. So it's the the fact that God would, uh, uh, if you cry for mercy, God will exonerate you. He's on God's terms. He chooses who he qualifies or he qualifies who he will give his mercy to. It's not for anybody that to 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 help you ask God for. If you cry for mercy and God uh, uh, hears, that is it. Clean slate. But the issue is, is, is that going to be extended to us? I remember the case, the case of uh, King Ahasuerus. When Esther went to him, uh, even though she was, she was not summoned, which was against the rules, I mean, I don't know what King Vashti Vash, Vash refused to appear and look at the heavy judgment that came upon that woman. And she was thrown, never to be seen again by the king. Yet, King Queen Esther flouted the order by appearing before the king in, in the presence of all the princes. The same princes that got the other one fired. Yet, the king extended his staff to her. May the Lord God Almighty extend his staff to you and I in mercy and not judgment today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord extend his mercy to us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord God Almighty extend his staff, his mercy in the, to us, to you and I in the name of Jesus Christ. Where we cannot help ourselves. Well, we have tried all that we can. We have gone up and down. We have cried. We have fasted. We have prayed. We have sought the face. We have asked for anointing. We have sought men of God. Yet, this issue seems to stand. May the mercy, the, 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 may the staff of God's mercy be stretched out to us tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, we need the mercy of God. Our life depends on it. My son, one of my son was asking me recently, he said, Mom, what is the or this morning? He said, what is mercy? We're studying the Bible. He said, Mommy, what is mercy? He said, when you, when you sin. I said, it's not only when you sin. Have mercy on us, oh God. Ha! Huh? We need the mercy of God to survive in the world now. For everything, for our heads to be lifted up above our enemies. For us to go out. We need the mercy of God. We're I don't know about you, but I'm desperate for the mercy of God. I'm desperately in need for the mercy of God. The mercy of God that forgives, the mercy of God that sorts out, the mercy of God that pardons, that, up, that uplifts, that upholds, that sustains, that protects. What? The mercy is limitless. Spirit of mercy, fall on me in the name of Jesus Christ. Enter in, enter in, enter in. In the name of Jesus Christ. We need the mercy of God. So Joseph was taken to Egypt. And all that happened. And the king, he was in prison. After fleeing from Potiphar's wife. And Potiphar believing the lie of his wife. <laughs> Even later on, the truth came out. We pray we will not be victims of people's wickedness. Ah, my brother and my sister, pray. Aye, aye, it is like the Wallabi said, but if we will not be victim, will not be a victim of someone's wickedness, someone's mistake, someone's lie. In, I reject it, my spirit rejects it. In the name of Jesus Christ, you better pray for yourself. We reject being victim of any situation and circumstance that is not of God. Ah, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, fortunately, Joseph being who he was, who he, was he continued in the righteousness. You know, we said just now that if a person continues in righteousness and does not change, he will be saved. He continued, despite all the evil people had done to him, he continued in the, in the prison. He was there for a while, a bit, and uh, there were two uh, servants of Pharaoh that were in trouble. He gave them both prophecies. One came to, but both came to pass. One was positive and one other was negative. And the positive one, he said, please remember me. That guy forgot him for two years. 
for two years. Then, because, you know, God is a, is a prophet God. You know, he said in an, in, in, in an opportune time, in, I want to, he said until that, until the time that his word came, the word of the Lord came. Have you been in prison? Prison of life? Prison of circumstance? Prison of wicked people's manipulation? God is bringing you out. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. His feet were in fetters. They were hurting him. Those fetters back then, they were like iron. It's not now that, you know, they have all these padded leather things that they use for prisoners. I don't know, you know, so many things. May that not be our portion in Jesus' name. So, but then it was like fit as real iron. There's no way you put that on someone's skin, it will hurt. And it was hurting him. Where is the world? Where has the world kept you and I that is hurting us? Physically or spiritually? Lord, let the fire of deliverance of God set us free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the healing balm of God come and soothe every pain, every reproach. Every backwardness, let the hand of God, <laughs> like he, like the hand that came upon Prophet Elijah, come upon you and I, and cause us to outrun the chariots that have even gone before us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, and he outran the chariots of Ahab, even unto the city gates. Let that fought that power to outrun our enemies. To outrun even our our peers that have left us behind. Let it come upon you and I to outrun and to get even to the place of glory in the name of Jesus Christ. So he said, until the time that his word came, even the word of the Lord tried him. I don't know where the word of the Lord is trying you and I. God is, um, is our father. He loves us dearly. And he's taking us to a place of glory. Mark my words. God does not. He does not joke with his children. But he prepares us. You and I will be prepared. God is working on you, he's working on me, he's working on us. By all, all these situations that is coming our way, that, you know, sometimes we're groaning, we don't even know what to say anymore. But we are in the workmanship, we are in the workhouse of God. Under his workmanship, he's pruning, he's cleaning, he's purging, he's pruning, he's doing all so that we are perfectly fit. For the place, the assignment that he has for you and I. I know right now, it is not easy. I know right now, there's a lot of groaning. You're wondering where would the next paycheck come from? You're wondering where would the next meal come from? You cannot lie. You cannot cheat. You cannot commit adultery as others are. And yet the Lord is watching you and I. He's waiting. He's wanting to know what is in your mind. He said concerning the children of Israel that he led them in this in the in the wilderness for 40 years so that he can prove what was in their hearts. God is testing. He's not testing, he doesn't test. He does not. But he's 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 he's, he's, he's vetting us, making sure that we are we're well equipped. Because <clears throat> If you watch and look closely, what has up been up, up, that what had obtained in the past, you see how men and women of God seem to have an issue. Some it was lust, some it was money, greed, like uh, Gehazi. So many Gehazi that would have got the, the the double portion of Elijah. That means he would have got number four portion times four of Elijah. He lost out. God does not want us to fail. So that's why sometimes it seems as if, oh Lord, what is happening? Sometimes your heart might even be sore. Like, Lord, have mercy. 
Have mercy, help me. You know, just save me. Save us. <laughs> Sometimes people are like, look, God, what's going on? He's, he's, you know, the, the Bible says that the word, the word that the, the word of the Lord in verse 19, in Psalm, in Psalm 105 verse 19, the word of the Lord tried him. What is in your heart? Is your heart perfect towards God? Or you still have something, you know? Because God's heart to you and I is perfect. Is our heart perfect to God? Joseph said, why would I do this and sin against God? Have you ever sat down to imagine the weightiness? That man had that opportunity. That uh, woman would have been lavishing him. With, he was already blessed by the by 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 uh, Potiphar. He was loved by Potiphar. Potiphar had handed everything, his life to him, except his wife, <laughs> except his wife. But Joseph was set to be a person up there. No matter how the enemy, so-called people around you, trying to limit you or are trying to make you seem like joy, you just need to know your place. The time is coming. Either God will remove them from, from, from over you or God will lift you above them. God will do it. When Potiphar and his wife continue that nonsense, the Lord did it such that, yes, he suffered a while. He was thrown out. He was like an outcast. But what happened? God, through the king, Pharaoh, brought Joseph even over Potiphar. That will be your portion and my portion in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They, they wanted to mess him up. Oh, sit down there. Don't you know your place? Have you ever been in a place, whether in church or something, they will say, who, who are you? You cannot be, the, you, you are not among these ones. These ones are the, are the pastor's favorite. Wait and see what God will do. God is no respecter of persons. Some people, they can see that you have that thing. But for one reason or the other, they just want to make the all in the in the name of, of uh doctrine, in the name of oh yes, let me see how let me test him. Are you are they God to test us? Is <clears throat> may the Lord forgive us. You're watching and testing a person. But you can bring your son or your daughter and put them in such a place where they ought not to be. Oh yes, you have tested your daughters and your, and your sons. You know that they are, they are work. God, that's man for you. Thank God our God is not like that. They'll say, they'll be, you know, minimizing the person and trying to even suppress the person. Suppressing the gift of God, suppressing when God has sent people. For no wonder Christianity and the church has so much issue. Because those that are supposed to be placed in the in the place where they need to attend to spiritual things are being relegated down. All in the name of oh, there's a there's protocol. There's a way things have to be done. May the good Lord himself have mercy upon us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So they brought Joseph out, took him to, God created a problem. <laughs> Nobody in the land could solve it. Ha! Who is like you, O oh God? My brother, my sister, your time is up, it's coming. Your time where God's visitation will seek you out and create a room for you is, is here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The time for you to be elevated is now. The mercy of God will find you and I out and lift us out. Out of the, the prison, they brought Joseph out. The, 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 the wine bearer, the cup bearer. 
there, remembered suddenly. Oh, there was a man in jail in prison. I met him two years ago. Blah 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 blah. blah. This now that one is history. Joseph came, interpreted the dream, interpreted the dream, and the rest is history. The cloth of prison was taken away from him. His head was shaved. He was, he was conditioned. He was bathed. A new garment was placed on him. Every garment of shame. Ah, every garment of sorrow, of reproach. Let them catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire, burn to ashes. Catch fire, burn to ashes in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every garment that is not of God in and around us, like, the, like Joseph, the high priest, the angel of the Lord said, remove that garment, that filthy garment. Every filthy garment that is causing us to be relegated, may the fire of God consume in the name of Jesus Christ. And he was adorned. We pray that the glory of God will cover us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That the glory of God will cover us, will cloak us, that we will wear as a garment the glory of God, that the favor of God, the power of God, the unction of God will come upon you and I in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Joseph was not just only able to, he was not just only able to interpret, he gave the solution was the point of seeing visions and not seeing the solution we want solution you and I have been on so many issues, we need solution let the solution come in the name of Jesus Christ let the heavens open our mind's eye, our inner eye and make us see, let us receive divine intervention divine solution, divine instructions even even in our sleep even by the Lord God Almighty in the name of Jesus Christ there will be every form of confusion we banish it out of our lives and our hearts in the name of Jesus we receive we receive this, this sound mind in the mighty name of Jesus clarity of purpose so that we can know what God wants us to do decisive that when we do it the solution will come and God will bring help your way and my way in the name of Jesus Christ so he gave the instruction he gave them told the king what they needed to do ah and pharaoh said he said let them look for somebody he said ah, where are we going to look for again you, you are the one that the spirit of the god is in you ha ah, let you i pray and i decree that this the mark and the, the essence of distinguishing let him fall upon you in the name of jesus let it fall upon me in the name of jesus let the world begin to see in the name of jesus christ the excellent spirit of god let it fall upon you and i the seven spirits of god abide in us in the name of jesus christ can you imagine joseph said okay build structures build structures that will be tall high enough plant in the first seven years harvest store them plant well many and who would have thought that the river Nile would dry up when you hear instruction and you you harden your heart it's for your own distress it's for it. don't harden don't you will not be destroyed in the name of jesus christ so uh, archaeologists had discovered before they said, uh, I think it was Dr. Carlson that said uh, uh, that, oh, when they asked him about the pyramids, that what are the pyramids for? He said, oh, it was for storing grains. You know, people thought he was crazy. But now archaeologists have, I used to wonder, like, they used to say it was for this tomb of the kings, but they never found any mummies inside. They never found any cops inside there. So what are you talking about? They have found out that those were the structures that Joseph built. And yes, if you if you go through the plains and the parts, some parts, the Nubis, the you know all these people, you will see that uh, they have also structures like that because they also did it. They stored grain. They did 
it such that it was airtight? Airtight so that it will not, you know, when you pack conflicts and cereals, you want your cereal to be, you know, airtight, right? So that it will not be soft and, you know, like if you have cookies and you and air enters it, they normally seal it to be airtight so that it will be fresh. Yes, that was that was the ingenuity and the wisdom that God Almighty gave Joseph because the excellent spirit of God was upon him. Let the excellent spirit of God fall upon you and I in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ so that we'll be able to do his invent and have ideas that will change and revolutionize the world in, for Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Wow! Joseph built their building. They have been wondering, oh, how is it possible for uh, uh, Jews to build those kind of towers with those blocks that are so heavy? How are they able to lift it? The same way they ask questions about how Noah was able to build the ark. Till today, they are still asking people that don't believe God. These things are the truth. If you look at one of the one of the satellite images of uh, you know modern science i don't know i can't remember the can, i watched it and they could see the outline if you go on your way to taif in saudi arabia you will see some mountains on this way as you are going you will see many mountains taif itself is a big mountain it's almost like 25 to 30 um, miles or kilometers above sea level it's so high up i've lived there in fact, we have hail falling almost all the time. It's cold in that region. Because we're very close to the sky. There's a place where you go to, you can see the, the sky under from the mountain. So this the satellite uh uh top showed the topography of that. The satellite images showed where the the the, the ark of um Noah's ark came to rest. And the Bible says upon Mount Ararat, it's there. Many people keep saying uh, Mount Sinai is in, is in Egypt. It's not. It's in, it's in, it's in Saudi Arabia. So the, the Ark of Covenant, these things are real. We do not want to believe. People are looking for, for explanation. We want to explain God. Ah, may the Lord deliver us. They say they don't believe in God. <laughs> and they say there's no hell. There's no this. Wait now. Are you the one that created yourself in your mother's womb? Explain that. Yes, eh, the sperm came together and did this and formed this and began to yeah, all that science. Is it is it is it did it just happen? Who orchestrated that process? Why don't you bring two other cells together and see if they will begin to divide and Meiosis, mitosis, and all that will happen. No. God is the one that orchestrated it. Uh, who, 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 how did God exist? Go and be asking Google. So, Joseph, I do not know how he, he got that. And we were able to build those. I mean, yes, thank you, Lord. I heard that they, they, they must have had all these systems of pulleys. 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 I mean, what does it take to have pulleys? Of course, those pulleys, because they are made of wood, they would have been destroyed and degenerated because they're wood. But, I mean, how many thousands of years ago? Thank you, Holy Spirit. I mean, I didn't plan for that. But there are systems of pulleys that help them to move those, those um, big blocks up. Because that is what happens when you have the wisdom of God. If you look at um, the Bible says uh, concerning uh, King uh, Uzziah that he was marvelously helped by God. That he had the, the idea to invent machines. Machines of war. Before there were no all this pulley system that would, that would throw stones, that would throw things to the enemy's camp. It's God gives in, intuition and in, you know ideas that's why we need to tarry from in the presence of God to ask him for ideas groundbreaking ideas that will glorify God not all these wicked and demonic ideas that are defiling people that are causing sexual immorality 
far and wide. We don't even want to mention some of them. That means, isn't that what Paul said? That they should not even be mentioned amongst us. So, Pharaoh came and did, and, and then he placed his ring upon Joseph. Ha! And, and exalted him above even the princes of the land. He was second to none. Even the Bible says, Pharaoh said that he is only high up above uh, Joseph when he sits in his seat on his throne as Pharaoh with all his um, his garments and you know the the um, the accolades of the kingship that that is in only that but other than that that Joseph was second to God a slave a foreigner and believe me just um, Egypt as at that time was the world power. May God lift you and I. May God do a miracle that will shock even us ourselves in the name of Jesus Christ. That thing that seems to be impossible. Let the Lord Himself move, change protocols, circumstances, situations to move His agenda in our lives forward by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every form of frustration, we come against every frustration in our lives, in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that the enemy is using to discourage us, to wear us out, to tie, may the host of heaven tire our enemies out in the name of Jesus Christ. Let their own weapon and their own machinery, all that they've set in motion against us, let it begin to work for, against them. Let it begin to let it backfire by fire. Let you walk against them to their own destruction in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh yes, we give you all the praise tonight. My brother, my sister, I don't know. The Lord has been laying in my heart. I don't know who you are. You watch this program. You are struggling with something. I don't know who you are. But you need to come to the Lord Jesus. No matter what it is, the people have promised you. There's no assurance outside God. There's no, no assurance outside the presence of our God. Outside God. Even if they promise you heaven and earth, it's very fleeting moment. It's only the Lord Jehovah. And his purpose and his will that will stand. You need to, we need to come back to God. In humility. In singleness of heart. Don't deceive yourself. If anybody is deceived here, you cannot deceive yourself. I want us to close our eyes. If you know you are not born again or you are backslidden, Ah, let us all come home back to the presence of God. He's the only one that can save. He's the only one that can deliver. He's the only one that can help. Help outside of God. Ah, has his own, has his K-leg. He had then dumb and, and all kinds of things attached to it. Fine lines, they call it. And the uh, contraindications allergic reactions whatever you want to call it they have problems attached to them that's why I'm making this altar call that will come back to the feet of Jesus this evening this day, this hour wherever you are on the surface of the earth I see God I see him ready, ready to receive. If you have done anything, the Bible says that we should examine ourselves. Either we be in faith, either we're still in the line. Either we're, it's a thin line, or you know, between this.
this side and this side. Let us pray. If you can repeat after me, dear God, Lord Jesus, I come to you this night. I know that I'm a sinner. Oh God, please forgive me. Lord Jesus, you died for me to save my soul. I receive your sacrifice. I ask you, oh God, to forgive me of all my sins, stealing, lying, fornication, adultery, masturbation, all kinds of evil that I have done in my body, stealing, coveting, lying against others, not loving God, not serving God, having idols in my heart. Ah, God, uh, exalting things above God, not following your way, not honoring the Sabbath. Father, please forgive me. Converting my neighbor's goods. Lord, forgive me. Not showing love. Forgive me. Angry. Backbiting. Slander. Haughtiness. Pride. Ah, oh God. Forgive me. Arrogance. Pompous. Heady. Without love. Disobedient. Father, please forgive me. For everything I have done in my body, with my mouth, in my heart, in my mind, even in the spirit when I'm sleeping, that I don't know the enemy makes us do every defilement of our spirits. Lord, we confess before you this night. Please forgive us, O oh God. Lord, forgive me, O oh Lord. Let the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross of Calvary cleanse me from every sin, every fault, every iniquity, every unrighteousness, unholiness, transgression, iniquity. Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, purge me, O oh God. Make me clean, white as snow. Let the blood of Jesus atone for me, body, spirit, and soul, and my mind. Oh Lord, do not cast me off. You said all those that come upon you, you will save them. Please save us. Save me, O oh God. Save me, O oh God. And renew your right spirit within me, O oh God. Give me your Holy Spirit, O oh God, that I will live for you know how to walk, to please you all the days of my life.
by the Holy Ghost to, of salvation. Lord, fill us up, O oh God. Give us the power to live and live above sin. That will fall now back into perdition, O oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't know, I feel this happiness. Someone is, you are crying already. The Lord is hand is up. to appear before you. <laughs> the Bible says they go from glory to glory as many that, from strength to strength as many that appear in Zion. Lord, strengthen us in our inner man, O God. Strengthen us, O God. Set us on fire for you. Let the fire of God upon our altar continue to burn in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that wants to settle on us, every form and spirit of depression, we set them ablaze. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, O Galiba Zete Geli Mozo Toko Yika Shutata, Laeke Teli Mozo To Yika Sukata Katele Mobo Zakata, Lite Tekele Mo, let the fire of God that goes before the Lord consume his enemies in our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, O Lord God Almighty, cloak us with your, with your garment of fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lite Yakasuteka. Open our eyes, oh God. Everyone, oh God, that is crying for intervention, for, for visitation, Lord, visit us in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, show yourself in strong in our behalf. Pay our bills, oh God. The gift, oh Lord, that you have for us, let them land on us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them come in, let them come in. Let it not tarry anymore. Every letter that the people are expecting, every every connection every phone call every email lord let them arrive speedily in the name of the lord jesus christ the time to favor us is now oh god in the name of jesus christ lift us up oh god ah lift us up and maintain us up there in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen amen and amen we soak ourselves in the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, be a wall of fire around about us and be the glory in the midst of us. No weapon of the enemy formed of fashion against us shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against us, let them be condemned in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, arise and showcase yourself, your power in us, in our lives, in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for always hearing us. Lord, we ask, oh God, that you will visit every one of us divinely in the name of Jesus. Intervene, oh Lord. Give us instruction. Seal your instruction <laughs> in our hearts and help us, oh God, to walk in your ways in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Of Jesus. Of Jesus, let the bite, let the let the presence of God abide, the ever abiding presence of God, be our portion in the name of Jesus. We will not lack any good thing. The Lord will lift our head. We will not be ashamed in the name of Jesus. He will cause Amen. His favor, His glory, His power, His great grace to be deposited in our lives Amen. in the name of Jesus. This Amen. week, this week. Our hands shall touch good. Amen. We will eat the good. Amen. And it will not be taken from us. Amen. We soak ourselves and our blessings in the blood.
blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you forevermore, Lord. Jesus. Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.